poison ivy everywhere here. I gotta be careful where I step. Someday this will be all houses. And I hate that. Luckily the people that own it for now are very wealthy and don't need the money. But you never know when some foolish person is gonna come under control of some precious resource and strip it, take the money and run. So if you like the view folks, you better take a good hard look now and enjoy it. Cause the time you leave this world, it ain't gonna look like the time that you showed up. Thank you Lord for making such a beautiful place and making it available to me. Heavenly Father, I pray that this video would touch somebody that's got a void in their heart. Somebody that's thinking about ending it. Somebody that's thinking that there's no good days ahead. Somebody that is so caught up in hating their political enemy that they're missing the joy of living the life that you gave them and they've only got one chance one life to live and they're pissing it away on Trump and Biden and effing politics divide and conquer BS straight from Satan and my message to that person today if that's you hopefully you can hear me over this wind but if that's you today your political favorite is not going to save your soul. They can't even save their own. They're professional liars. They'll take your money and lie all the way to the bank. And keeping the problem intact is what provides them their power and their platform. They get paid not to fix problems. The more the problem, the more they get paid. And it'll never solve anything for you. Jesus Christ is free. You can have him today. You can have the most important thing in the world all to yourself today you just accept it you can't earn it you don't need to clean yourself up no one can stand in the presence of God no one not without accepting Jesus as the highest authority of your life and accepting that you yourself are wicked and deserving of condemnation which I have earned and earned and earned and earned I have earned hell over and over but thankful for me, my Savior has taken my stripes and healed me, and reconciled me to God, and He sent me to reach you, the person that doesn't want to be reached, the person that loves being pissed off about politics, the person that loves being a victim, that loves having rainy days, that loves feeling like everybody else owes them something. They don't. They don't owe you shit. You owe God, but He don't owe you. So think about it. You're gonna close your eyes on this earth. That last blink is coming. And then there's the next blink, and you're going to wake up in one of two places. There's no, um, there's no appeals. There's no court of appeals when you open your eyes in the dark place. Your court of appeals is here today. So if I were you, I would start considering whether you want to appeal your case. And I know a good attorney, he takes your pleas to the Father on your behalf. His name is Jesus. Father, I pray that they would accept you. Love you, Lord. Amen.